Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the man who's received so much recognition for his work on behalf of small business that he had to get a bigger mantle for his awards and a wider door for his head. You have reached the transmitting signal for the big giant head. All big giant circuits are busy right now. Please stay on the line. Mr. Humble, Jim Blassingame. Welcome back, 34 after the hour. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. Always a pleasure to continue to be with you. And I'm very excited about having our good friend Adrian Ott back on the show, ladies and gentlemen. Adrian is a longtime member of our Brain Trust. She's the CEO and co-founder uh, and founder, I should say, of Exponential Edge. She is, was selected as one of Silicon Valley's most respected uh, strategists, and uh, she is continued just to get award after award after award. She got a brand new one to tell us about in a minute. Her new her book is called The Twenty Four Hour Customer. And more importantly, she's our good friend. Adrian Knott, welcome back to the show. Good morning, Jim. Great to be here again. Good to have you back. Congratulations on the new recognition that you got. Folks, uh, Adrian is, lives in a pretty ritzy neighborhood when it comes to uh, impressive people, especially impressive ladies. You're out there in the Silicon Valley, Adrian. And and we got folks like Sheryl Sandberg with uh, Facebook. We got Meg Whitman with uh, used to be with eBay. You got uh, uh, who else? Uh, got Yahoo out there. I mean, you, what's the lady's name with Yahoo? You were recently re- received another honor, and I want you to tell the audience about it. Well, Jim, I have to say I was completely blown away to be named one of the hundred most inspirational women leaders in Northern California by the Harvard Business School Alumni Association. And, folks, this is a place that's where there's a high concentration of inspirational leaders. This is in, in the Silicon Valley area out there in Northern California. There a lot of folks. This is high concentration. And uh, and so and then this is by the Harvard Business Yes, it was the Harvard Business School Alumni School. Association. Okay. Okay. And All so right. this was actually a peer nominated so the the other uh my fellow classmates and and people that didn't know me um it it was it was actually other people who uh, alumni who had attended the school and they um chose there were there are about 1200 uh women alumni in northern california and um it basically it was such an honor to be nominated and selected by my peers congratulations and i'm not the least bit surprised folks uh you're probably not either you've been hearing adrian on the show now for a while uh adrian uh is, is this is another example of what i tell my audience no chopped liver on the small business advocate show only the best for my audience so so congratulations on your award I know one of the things you want to talk about today is is what you call closing the vision gap, how to how to lead above the noise. Now, tell us what you mean by that. Yeah, thanks, Jim. Um, <clears throat> when you think of the vision gap, um, we often see two things happening. If you think of a continuum, at one end um, we see CEOs who and leaders who are mired in day to day tasks. Yeah, you know they're just too busy to think ahead and you know we're getting to the end of the year we're starting to think about the new year but oh my goodness we've got that that deal to close we've got you know the books to deal with and things like that and payroll how do you get above <laughs> yeah you got to pay payroll because i'll tell you if, if, if vision is great and i talk about it all the time we've been talking about it a little bit already today but uh but if you don't make payroll you're not gonna have anything to have a vision about Absolutely. And, you know, at the other end of the spectrum, I'm sure, Jim, you have seen CEOs and entrepreneurs that are so enamored with their vision that um, <laughs> their team can't keep up, right? Right, right. So, so we see these two ends of the spectrum, and this creates a gap, and it really is a, a So you're talking about you, you, got, you got some CEOs can't be the CEO. They can't, they can't get their head out of the, out of the trenches. And some CEOs won't won't uh, won't slow down enough to let their, their their organization catch up with them. Right, exactly. And I think this is really a key, a key problem with many uh, business 
executives today and businesses today is is and this problem's just only going to get worse mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. because we're just bombarded with information you know the you know the good news about uh the internet is that we have access to more information, and the bad news is we have access to more information. Right. Exactly. No, that's exactly right. And so, what you have to do is you have to really become good at at at, at focus, don't you? You have to really say, okay, what it, what it, of all the things I want to do, what is the thing that not only I wanted we want to do, but we can do. And as shiny as those other objects may be, you got to you got to let them go, don't you? Yeah, you really have to focus. And I, I know your last uh, your last uh, guest was talking about you know your no list. Obviously, right. prioritizing right. is very important. You got to learn how to say no, Adrian. Uh, hold on to that thought. We're going to take a quick break for, right after these messages, folks. We'll be right back with the award-winning, continually award-winning Adrian Ott after these messages. Twenty tail. Stay with us. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved.